Well, good morning. Uh, welcome to everyone. My name is Luca Bani and I am the educational guidance of the Department of Foreign Languages, Literatures and Cultures. Today we are here to introduce you to the master course in uh, um, planning and management of tourism system that is part of the international program of the University of Bergamo. This master's course has a solid uh, multidisciplinary approach and an, an innovative teaching perspective made possible also by a selected team of visiting professors coming from all over the world. By attending this master, you will acquire valuable and innovative skills in hospitality, intermediation, lo uh, local development, cultural heritage, sustainable tourism. Well, and now I present uh, uh, to you the colleagues who are here with me today. We have at first uh, Professor Federica Burini. Uh, Federica is the head of the master and she teaches two different subjects. The, uh, the first of these subjects uh, is uh, environmental sustainable tourism and the second one is uh, space diversity and intercultural geography. Then we have uh, a colleague, uh, Cinzia Spinzi. She is tutor for the student counseling and court and table, and she's professor of cross-cultural communication. And finally, we have uh, Elena Bouglet, who, is, who deals with the quality of communication between teachers and students, and she's professor of complex societies and tourism uh, governance. Now, with pleasure, I give the floor to my colleague, Professor Burini. Uh, please, Federico. Thank you very much, uh, Professor Bani, for this introduction of our master course. Um, and uh, we will introduce you with some slides uh, to the presentation of our master course. Um, as you can see, as uh, Professor Bani said before, uh, this is a master course uh, belonging to the internationalization program of our University of Bergamo. And it is part of our department, uh, which, which is uh, one of the first Department of Excellence of, our, um, of Italy, so we are very proud of this. Uh, let's see, let's have a look to um, our master course. Um, so, as you can see, uh, the course uh, is based on an innovative approach to tourism offered by a team of Italian and foreign teachers who try to, uh, to look at tourism uh, as a global process, as a systemic uh, process, with, just, with a strong anchorage to local and global dimensions, uh, with the, the reference uh, to information systems, to digital technologies, to the design of uh, co-planning in management of tourism systems. Um, the idea is that uh, we look at tourism, as I said, in a systemic approach, so you will have uh, cultural heritage studies, territorial studies, environmental issues, social aspects, economic analysis, marketing issues, and communication uh, issues, uh, trying to combine theoretical and technical competencies in order to have a systemic approach in the analysis of tourism. So tourism is not only an economic phenomenon, but it's a territorial, a social, a cultural, phenomenon that must be looked at in a uh, systemic way. The main course objectives are, uh, the first is to give you linguistic and cultural knowledge to have um, a competence in a critical understanding of the development of the tourism phenomenon, its history, its imaginations. Uh, the second is to give you social and territorial, economic and legal uh, competencies to create or coordinate tourism systems and to manage their impacts on territories. And the third one is to design, manage and communicate uh, in a proper way to operate in tourism planning at different scales. Um, if we have a look to the admission requirements, uh, applicants to this master course must be in possession of a three-year university diploma in Italy or uh, abroad. Uh, the possession of an Italian three-year bachelor degree uh, in some classes, Italian classes like L1, 3, 11, 12, 13 and 15, allows a direct admission to our master course. So we will have a look to the possession 
of some uh, discipline groups mentioned here in the slide um, up and belonging to different disciplinary fields of relevance to our master course. Uh, applicants are also required to have a good spoken and written English skills corresponding to a B2 level of European framework as attested by the acquisition of at least nine credits uh, or equivalent certifications like the first certificate in English, the TOEFL, the IELTS, or other equivalents. Um, let's have a look at the study plan for 2022-2023. In the first year, uh, you will have uh, 60 credits um, uh, belonging to uh, territorial environmental studies, uh, cultural studies and tourism heritage, English for tourism, museums and media studies as an alternative choice with arts and media studies, economics of tourism destination and management, tourism management and marketing, IT for tourism services, and the tourism think tank, which is a workshop for our, organized for our first year students in order to deal with a specific them thematic each year, that you will um, work on uh, with, your, with your colleagues in groups of five or eight people, uh, trying to, um, uh, to give you the first interdisciplinary competencies to deal with a specific issue in the tourism planning. In the second year, you will have an optional track, either in global issues in tourism management or in environmental and digital strategies for sustainable tourism. And uh, you will have to choose uh, one language or a cross-cultural uh, studies module. Uh, you can also choose uh, languages like French, Spanish, uh, English advanced or German. You can choose two options. Uh, you will have a workshop to follow, friendship and the, your dis the final dissertation. We will then uh, explain you better what the workshops and the friendships are about uh, with my colleagues. Um, regarding the free choices, um, we included two free choices in your second year. You can choose all the modules uh, that you find in the MA course of PMTS that are not mandatory. Uh, you can choose the courses including in other master courses in our department or other module uh, included in other master courses of our university. It is very interesting to have these uh, three choices in your second year because also you can do international programs and mobility programs in your second year. So you can uh, do your free choices in other universities of Europe or around the world. Um, this course gives you uh, some professional opportunities that we would like to focus on. Uh, it provides career opportunities in the fields and functions that pertain to tourism, cultural events, local development within institutions, foundations, public and private companies. And um, uh, we have many students working in, for market analysis, planning and evaluation of tourism projects and local development. We have students uh, that had their, their master's degree and design and develop uh, communication and services uh, for tourism in territories, uh, who work in planning and organization of tourism services, who design or manage the promotion of culture and environmental heritage, who organize training activities in tourism, or uh, they also teach uh, in schools. Um, we also uh, want to include the special ties with territories at the local and international dimension. We have many links to research projects uh, of our research team. Um, so uh, our students are always included in applied research and analysis coordinated by specialized centers that we have in our university. We try to include them in pilot actions shared with schools, companies, institutions of the, of the region. Uh, and we also um, make our students participating in projects of the city and of the surrounding area, um, because we want to improve uh, the knowledge also applied to specific st uh, case studies in our territories. Um, in order to do that, we organize during the years a very uh, international and uh, a very um, diverse uh, steering committee so we have many partners working with us 
public institutions, uh, foundations, association for the production of goods and services, private actors of the tourism sector or foreign institution for tourism promotion and territorial development um, in, uh, in Bergamo, in Lombardy region, in Italy and also abroad. As you can see, um, we have many partners also belonging to uh, international institutions. So uh, this theory committee work with us every year. We work with them. Uh, we try to include them in the planning of our uh, education program and we work together also in pilot projects in our territories. Now I ask Professor Cinzia Spinzi, our, our student counsellor, to uh, explain you some more aspects of our master course. Thank you, Cinzia. Thank you, Federica. Good afternoon, everybody. Yes, we will start with this uh, picture, which shows uh, a former professor of the University of Bergamo, professor of European Tourism um, Law. And uh, um, when he passed away, his family decided to give grants to university to support uh, um, the enrollment of two students, actually, in our master course. The only requirement in this case is just to have uh, um, a bachelor degree with a thesis on uh, tourism. Um, as you can see here, we, um, we show pictures about what we do, but uh, above all, um, we want just uh, uh, to give you the idea of the teaching staff, um, which includes uh, um, people from all over the world. And the master course, all the subjects in the master course are completely taught in, uh, in English uh, language. So uh, we can breathe the atmosphere of uh, um, internationalization, actually. And uh, um, we have uh, visiting professors who come uh, from many countries. Here you can see uh, some of them coming from Europe, but not only from Europe, also from uh, the USA, from Canada and uh, many other uh, countries. Not only visiting professors, but also students, of course, um, uh, contribute to making our course internationalized because we have students, uh, uh, as you can see from the map here, from uh, uh, all over the world, from Europe, from Eastern and Western countries, and uh, uh, from Indonesia also, uh, from Latin America, just to mention a few of them. Um, with, um, with the students we organize, we have a different uh, a project of a mobility for students. We um, have a, a Erasmus exchange uh, a project with the European University, which offer advanced modules in the field of tourism management, but also other programs and projects with the non-European universities. And uh, um, our students uh, can decide to, um, to do their in internship with so many companies and we have included the tourism, uh, sorry, uh, museums and also territorial agencies. Uh, so all companies and agencies which um, deal with tourism aspects to some extent. Um, in the end, we also have and organize uh, uh, international spring schools and uh, uh, oriented seminars, experience oriented seminars uh, with guided tours and uh, uh, different types of workshops. Um, our students also have the chance to uh, go to uh, two different universities. Uh, we have uh, uh, two dual degrees with uh, um, these two universities. The first one is uh, um, the Fairleigh Dickinson University in New Jersey in the States. And the second one is a European University that is at Université Lyon 2. Uh, in French, of course, in France, of course. And um, as far as the first uh, dual degree is concerned, um, our um, students must uh, uh, apply at, at the end of uh, um, the first year and uh, uh, they can spend um, a period in the States um, between the first semester and the, uh, uh, of the second year and uh, in the first actually semester. So they um, get 60 uh, credits abroad. 
Um, and the cost for this experience is around uh, 15,000 uh, euros, but they have the chance to get two mobility uh, grants, uh, which are uh, given by our uh, university. The grants are of uh, 8,000 euros. Um, as far as the second dual degree is concerned, which is also called the WTITRE, uh, just to respect the French language, and it's called the Master in Tourism, Master in uh, on Tourism. And uh, even in this case, uh, students apply at the end of the first year and they spend a period uh, uh, in the city of uh, Lyon, um, uh, starting from the first semester of the second year. And also in this case, they can get uh, 60 credits uh, uh, euro. And also for uh, the experience in France, uh, the University of Bergamo uh, grants uh, um, some funds for that. Um, we organize a lot of uh, um, activities, activ field work activities actually, and just because we want uh, our students to get in touch with the practical activities and uh, they are based on uh, an interactive uh, teaching. So we organize uh, trips uh, to the surrounding areas um, just because we want to connect uh, their practical experience with the theory and the theory which is uh, um, dealt with in the dissertation with infographic uh, tools uh, and also we want our students to meet practitioners from uh, from the field. Uh, that's why we organize uh, um, all these activities uh, in connection with what they study for their dissertation and uh, of course also uh, during the course. Um, so we have uh, um, also seminars and uh, uh, field trips around the topic of tourism planning. Um, among the teachers, and uh, um, we have some figures of references, and we have uh, Professor Matteo Berzi and Professor Alexandra Newman. Um, Professor Matteo Matteo Berzi um, is uh, deals with uh, uh, geographic information systems for tourism, and is in charge of uh, um, environmental and European policy issues for the Spanish Ministry of Development. Whereas uh, um, Professor Alexandra Newman. She's a mother tongue, she's an English language expert and she, and she supports uh, all the students uh, uh, for the English for Tourism examination. And now I'll give the floor to my colleague Elena Bougleur, who is going to talk about the workshops. Thank you, Cinzia, very much. And uh, thank you for introducing the topic, uh, which is quite crucial for us. It's uh, all that part of activities that our students develop outside of university, of course, with the supervision by us, uh, but uh, the, it's an important part of the uh, normally second year task uh, is the commitment outside uh, of university face-to-face uh, -face with the reality connected with tourism. So we have a variety of topics that we've been dealing with during last year's. Uh, the programs of, tour of workshops changes, of course, according to programs that we might decide to be fruitful for us. Uh, recently, we've been developing a workshop in Val Tartano, uh, so studying the web reputation of tourism services uh, produced locally uh, with respect to the uh, international communication. Uh, we've been dealing with uh, practices of hospitality and how to optimize and make fruit, make most of our models of best uh, practices in uh, tourism hospitality. Of course, we analyze our territory. So we are in the in a Valais region, in a Valais province. So um, uh, analyzing uh, with uh, participatory processes, uh, the, uh, the environmental offer of the uh, of the valley region around Bergamo is done through a slow tourism approach, uh, trying to recover and um, evaluate um, the relevance of uh, local knowledge, which quite often is uh, uh, gathered and collected in small museums, small local museums, which are really important treasures that we learn to to study and to valorize uh, so we analyze critically the resource museums in a way that can be also brought other way from our um, territory uh, a very important um, uh, 
um, event has happened uh, last year, which was the award that the European Commission uh, gave to the Valle di Astino, which is a valley very, very close to the center town of uh, Bergamo, Bergamo Alta, uh, an award for the quality of the landscape preservation. Astino is the location of one of our workshops, as well as another important area, another important uh, um, whereabouts of tourism is now, of course, uh, an gastronomy. And so the storytelling about the gastronomic experiences in tourism is getting more and more important. Therefore, our uh, focus is uh, to experts, colleagues that we have, is to uh, give a big relevance to the to the how the story of the uh, food practices, uh, practices, practices and um, uh, specialities and. Uh, um, uh, local knowledge in food making is preserved. Uh, another very important workshop, this is led by our colleague Cinzia Spinzi, is about multi-sensory tourist guides for inclusiveness. So this is uh, focused on organizing an inclusive uh, uh, accessibility for the museum resources. So there's a material practical experience which are developed uh, together with the students in order to make the museums accessible for everybody. Um, one of the uh, best chosen uh, laboratories we have, uh, workshops we have, is about uh, uh, filmmaking and short filmmaking, short film lab, um, is aimed at uh, giving you the skills to produce uh, professional quality video in, to be used in the context of tourism promotion. So this is normally very well loved and the videos, I have to say, some of the videos produced by the students uh, during the years are <clears throat> available on our website. You can actually take a look at, at them. Um, another important experience is the internships. Internships are um, normally developed within uh, agency, agencies and subjects of our territory, like uh, promo serios, abroad, uh, uh, ferries, and a uh, number of uh, uh, DMOs, uh, museums, and other actors, uh, which help us uh, think about the course and also help us uh, train uh, practically the students. Uh, quite often, the internship work, which takes place during the second year, develops into the thesis. It's one of the indications that uh, uh, we give to the to the students. The um, exactly so the uh, the links that we have with the uh, uh, internships uh, actors that we selected are so tight that make us actually uh, talk about our stakeholders within the courses. So basically you get to be introduced to the uh, um, uh, context of your trainship already in the lessons. Therefore, uh, create connection between internships and uh, the research projects. It's like an obvious uh, pathway that we offer uh, to the uh, to the students' uh, thesis preparation. Um, now we come to the a very very important part. So please pay attention. Uh, there are a number of uh, steps and regulations uh, uh, necessary to fulfill in order to apply to our course. So there's a compulsory pre-registration for non-EU students. Um, so the, the pathways are separated for non-EU and EU students. Let's start with the non-EU students, which have to uh, submit their pre-registration within two deadlines. One is going to be uh, April 15, the second is going to be May 20. Uh, so please remember these dates and uh, after uh, the uh, well, let's say before um, we go on with the next steps, the EU students have a slightly later deadline. So uh, from April to May 31st and from June to September uh, 9, this is the window of pre-registration for the European uh, EU students. Uh, everybody's got to undergo a uh, compulsory interview with us. It's going to be online, of course. It is always been online, uh, which is aimed at uh, evaluating your uh, motivation, your background, your English skills, capabilities. And once these two steps have been completed, you can finally register uh, and that's going to happen within 
July, uh, within, sorry, um, from July 12 to October 28, uh, 2022. Okay. So the three steps, let's say, um, access. Uh, what about our modality? As you know, we are arriving from a difficult time for the teaching uh, in presence type of experience. But uh, in our course, we have always been dealing with all the difficulties and uh, uh, we arranged a number of uh, situations which allowed everybody to attend the lessons. So both in presence and online, we will be able uh, to face any constraint and be flexible and uh, we will adapt to the situations uh, as they evolve as we always been doing in the last uh, two years um here there's a list of people that you will meet a list of professor and teaching staff that you will meet during uh, your years we have a professor federica burini that you already listened to she's the president of the master course uh then we have a uh, professor rossana bonadei which you didn't meet with us today she's the uh, head of the Department of Foreign Languages and also responsible for the uh, institutional contacts of our course. Uh, then you met uh, Professor Cinzia Spinzi. She is the International Council and responsible and uh, responsible also for the attemptable making very important and difficult task. Uh, you've listened to her before. Uh, then you have uh, Professor Stefano Ghislotti, uh, which is responsible for the workshop organization. You will be in touch with him when you decide which workshop you will want to attend. And it's going to be through him that you can enroll in one or the other of our workshops. And then there's uh, myself, uh, quality and communication uh, responsible between teaching staff and the students. Um, and uh, I would say most important of all, we have Alketa Aliai. Uh, she's um, our tutor. She's the uh, tutor uh, of the students uh, uh, and also professor part, I would say, of our course. She's uh, behind the scenes, always keeping in check everything and uh, responding to all the needs and the questions and problems that may arise. Um, yes, yeah, so we always been thinking that the opinions of the students are very important in uh, uh, when you decide uh, how to make up your mind about your future choices. Therefore, you can find on our website, uh, website uh, the website of dedicated to our master course, some interviews and some opinions uh, by uh, former students, uh, and these are. Uh, by far our best uh, visiting card, let's say. Uh, so, uh, yes, thanks, uh, Federica. This is our website, so you can see the, the link on top and uh, you can access to all the information we've been giving you so far, but also to the extra information that the students and the, uh, your former colleagues uh, are decided to share uh, with us in the website. Mm. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you very much, Elena. Thank you, Cinzia. Um, now, if the students have any questions, so we are here for you to answer and to, um, yeah, to answer to your doubts or to your requests. Uh, but uh, um, keep in mind that uh, our website is there uh, to give you all the uh, detailed information about what we uh, uh, we. Uh, already explained you in our uh, presentation. Um, let me check if you have any uh, questions coming out. At the moment, I don't see any questions coming out. Um, so um, probably I can show you a little bit the website. So um, um, I can share my screen maybe. Uh, I ask the, um, the staff, Oh, yes. Let me check if there is a question. I cannot see the question, so I ask my colleague. I don't know why, but I cannot see it. Thank you so much. So if it's compulsory to submit documents in Italian language in a pre-evaluation application, um, well, our offices are quite, let's say, um, uh, flexible. Uh, 
um, but I know there are national rules about the presentation of diplomas uh, because we have to be sure that what you present uh, is um, equivalent to a bachelor degree, so especially uh, for languages which are not uh, European languages, uh, we always uh, request the, um, the, tr the translation in one of the European languages. So it's better because otherwise we cannot un really understand um, your level uh, of preparation. Thank you very much. Um, uh, yes, uh, if you want, uh, I can show you a little bit um, our uh, website, um, just to give you an idea of, um, of, our, um, of our organization, uh, let's say. Um, uh, I try to uh, share uh, my screen, let's see if it works, or I ask um, our direction, uh, our staff uh, to share um, the link to the web page, maybe it's better, um, so that we can see the different sections of our website um, and uh, I can show you the different uh, uh, parts where you can find different information in the case you need. Anyway, as Professor Google said before, um, we invite you always to write us, so don't do not hesitate uh, to write us. Prof. Buridi, I'm the director. I'm helping you. Uh, you, you can um, stop the, the sharing of your slides and start another sharing with your screen if you want. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you very much. Okay. Once you are browsing uh, the website, uh, I will put your screen uh, on video. Okay, thank you. Okay, I'm ready if you want. Can you see um, uh, the website? Yes, Federica. Thank Fine. you so much. So you will find uh, the presentation of the course. So all the information about the study plans, the admission requirements, uh, objectives, the organization, the statistics of the course, the course description. In the study section, you will find all the subjects, the professors, the calendar, the workshops, the classes, uh, different forms that we will ask you to uh, to fill for receiving information from you from you directly. Uh, here, there is an interesting part that uh, uh, Professor Google was talking about. You can find a section about students' videos, uh, where you can see them um, uh, showing you uh, their um, um, their experience about. Uh, uh, all the activities that they have done uh, during uh, the, um, uh, their study uh, here in Bergamo. So I think this part is interesting for you in order to see how it works. Uh, then you will see Erasmus Mobility, Training and Stage, uh, the Tourism Think Tanks, and then some information about how to enroll and how to graduate. And then the contacts, uh, which are always important if you want to contact us directly. So I think that uh, this is good for you uh, because it gives you the idea of how to um, to deal with your um, um, with your studies. Okay. Uh, thank you so much. There is another question: um, Is English a variant of diplomas with upstyle suitable to apply in pre-evaluation? Um, so I, I, maybe I, if I understand the question, um, you ask if uh, um, you have a diploma not in English, uh, you can uh, be pre-evaluate, yes, of course, 
but you have to present, as we said, a certificate of your B2 level uh, language of the English language. So um, it, it's compulsory to present a certificate. Uh, so Cinzia, maybe you want to integrate some aspects about certification. Well, yes, there are the common international uh, certifications that are uh, provided uh, uh, by some international uh, agencies or schools. Uh, those which are more commonly accepted are uh, Cambridge, but uh, there are so many. So you just uh, email us to ask for confirmation if you have got some doubts anyway. Thank you so much. So uh, I don't see any other questions. In any case, we are very, very uh, keen in answering other questions if you want in the future. And uh, please send us emails and we will reply you soon just to, um, to, to answer to your doubts or requests. So I think... Um, yeah, uh, maybe we... something I can add, yeah. Federica. Uh, yeah. Can I add something, considering it's normally a, a topic of um, the, uh, from the questions, which is uh, how the students can uh, choose their extra activities, right? And uh, so we have the possibilities to uh, extend uh, our contexts where uh, internships, for example, are developed. And we have the possibility to include uh, new stakeholders. So if some of you arrive with a specific interest, which is uh, uh, linked to his or her own territory, which will have an experience in some uh, association, which is connected with the tourism enterprise, if you have some particular cultural interest which can be connected, which is uh, in, in tune with our study program, we are very willing to evaluate your uh, proposals and, and see whether new uh, pathways can be opened. This has already happened in the past. Uh, we've been developing programs and internships in new contexts for us, which ended up in thesis normally uh, by, uh, developed by the, the, the people that had suggested, by the students that had made these suggestions. So our variety is really wide and there's a lot of choices, but students are also creative and, and uh, can always come up with uh, new suggestions and we are very willing yeah. to listen. That's true. Thank you very much, Elena. I think our time is running out. So I thank very much uh, Professor Bani from our department, uh, Professor Chisa Spinzi, our student counselor, Professor Elena Bougleu, our uh, professor for quality of communication with uh, students. Um, and uh, see you then uh, next year. And uh, we hope to um, to answer your questions if you need. Uh, so please send us uh, emails if you want. Thank you so much and bye-bye. Uh, Goodbye, everybody. Bye.